Is this guy for real? <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> he just yoloed his whole army. All right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? Well, after a few frustrating Terran ladder sessions, I've decided it's truly time to get back on the Terran grind. And how the hell can I motivate myself? And I thought, you know what, let's let's do a bit of a carrot rather than a stick situation. And let's just pick some easy builds. Like whenever you haven't played StarCraft for a while or you're a bit rusty on a certain race, it's just good to get in there and do some fun builds. And I mean, this is TVZ. So I would say this is the closest to like a difficult macro build out of the three matchups that I'm going to be doing. Uh, any TVP is going to be just like that Harston build where he proxies a second factory, which is very similar to an old hut build from like five years ago i remember five six years ago um the the proxy second factory because who the hell proxies a second factory that builds always a lot of fun but uh tvt i'm gonna be doing some bananas marauder cyclone banshee opening shenanigans into mech nice easy start and like a no upgrade mech as well you know the one where you just have like 14 siege tanks with no upgrades Sounds really weak, it is if the game goes long enough, but it's actually really good in the early stages. Anyways, uh, here we are, it's TVZ to start. TVZ is actually a matchup where I'm like, man, it's always hard to get a consistent all in. Occasionally I can get a weird battle cruiser surprise to work or a Hellbat Marauder one base, but it always feels like it's a lot of work. Whereas sometimes I think the simplest way to actually play ZVT and make this matchup easier for ourselves is just to macro really hard and then hit a big all-in. Big timing attack, just 100% committed. And after uh, watching how well Olivera's 8-racks did over at Dallas, I mean, I, I want to do an 8-racks, basically, is what I'm saying. Just, just it looked amazing. He almost beat Serral. He kind of played, you know, he was, he was the real standout player for that whole tournament. And uh, I don't know, I think it just looked great. So we're going to be doing the Cloakless Banshee style that he prefers to do sometimes. Oh, hello, that's not finished. Oh, it is, okay. It's not the earliest, but it doesn't need to be the earliest. That's fine. Uh, we'll start the factory there as well. Once that marine is out, Reaper's going to come in, see if we can do some damage. If that hatchery wasn't anywhere near finished yet, then the Reaper would stay at home to defend because there could be early Zerglings. But in this case, that is not the way it is. We All right, already got a drone. That's fantastic. This is six Zerglings as well, which is a pretty big commitment. Oh, what's up, everyone? We're in Central US, guys. The lag! I mean, even as I mention it, I still tried to get an extra shot in there. Should have known I, I, I didn't need to do that. Uh, we have an SCV idling there. That was the scout. It's okay. It doesn't really change that much. Uh, Marine probably should have gone out just to take a look around. Make sure we're not getting jumped on by anything. Um, but I think we'll be fine. That mule should also drop on the high ground. Because we know what's happening. He's always going to hit after getting a free reaper kill like that. Okay, nicely done. Yeah, well done. So we don't want to lose the depot, guys. So we are going to surround to at least punish him for killing that. No, didn't quite get it. Well, at least... At least it's just a depot. It doesn't really matter too much because you're not really getting supply blocked. Okay. Um, we will take a uh, gas there. This is a pretty bad start for me. But bad starts are what it's all about, man. Because these are always the funnest games, right? It's, it's not the game where everything goes right. Where you kind of end up with the barn burner. It's always the game where everything kind of goes wrong. You just hang in there and you find a way to make it a game despite that. Hello. Just going to try to get a little bit of damage here. Okay. Nah, he actually pulled back his weak drone there. This is really good micro. Lots of queens as well already out here. So I'm going to say overall, pretty impressed with the level of play we're facing. Um, not too happy about that either, guys. I would much rather be playing massive noobs. Like, that would make me really happy. If I could just play noobs all day, that would be great. I, I kind of miss Call of Duty and just, like, pub stomps back in the day. Trying to line these shots up so that we hit both. Oh, very fast. Fourth. Okay, we're going to go a couple of barracks. 
Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna bother with more than one thingamajig. I also don't know, are there any more tumors for me to kill? No, it looks like this guy didn't really replace his tumors, that's fine. Oh, they're hitting the creep tumor as well. No creep there. Awesome. This is good. All right, let's take a second to macro, guys. Uh, you go there. You go there. You go there. You go there. Third base. All right. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, pull back. Just, just pull back. We don't need to be so aggressive, guys. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Three more barracks to get up to eight barracks. And don't get me wrong, this is a pretty badly executed one, but that should be fine. We're just going to make sure we leave a Reddit Point Marine out there to spot that side. And the Banshee's going to go up there to spot run by us. Two more reactors. Those last two barracks aren't going to get any add ons. Uh, we do need to get the armory. We've already got it. Fantastic. Let's make sure I get combat shields ahead of time. Just so I don't forget. We'll try to clear that creep on that side. Awesome. Uh, one supply drop just to make sure I can keep pumping marines. Yeah, no active tumors. That's fine. Just seeing if I catch any active ones, you know. Add-on complete. Mineral field depleted. Alright. Research complete. Yeah, yeah. Lots more marines. Lots more marines. I think these will be my last two mules. The rest have to be on uh, scans. Sounds sweet. This better be been waiting. Are you ready for this? Make sure this watchtower is cleared. It is? Alright. Jeez, where are the Medivac guys? I thought I had two here. Apparently not. Lots more Marines. Last three depots here. We definitely need to start plus two attack, guys. Is this guy for real? <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> he just yoloed his whole army. Oh, but he's gonna get a tank for it. That's crazy. All right. Bring these uh, SCVs forward. Put one Marine on that right side. Queue up more Marines. No such thing as too many. Yeah, I thought so.
Oh my god. So many Banelings! So many units in general! Dude, people are so good at macroing these days. To be fair, I had a pretty bad start this game, didn't I? Spread, spread, spread! Do we get plus three, guys? I think we got plus three, right? Ready for pickup? On my way. Pretty sure we're dead, but you never know. We can do this. We can totally do this, guys. Oh, Jesus. Trying to go libs to the ultras, come on, we can do this. Easy. Acknowledged. I heard that. 
Upgrade complete. Mineral field depleted. Yes, sir. This better be good. This better be good. Go ahead. You could Our SCVs are under attack. We could use some help here. Been waiting on you. Mineral field depleted. This better be good. Now Oh my god, are we actually going to win this game? Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. How can we help? Somebody, get me out of this mess. We have you on screen. Are we actually winning? I think we are. Oh my god. This game was dumb. So dumb, so dumb. Yeah, let's just clear creep now. All right, there's no more creep in that direction. That's good. Oh, there's nothing there either. Just gonna go this way. Oh, we got him. We got him. Kill yourself. What? <laughs> what? Didn't need to say that. that was a pretty good game. I mean, I I, I I definitely messed up at the start, but uh, the eight racks just kept going and I never macroed behind it at all. And that's kind of the goal. You know, there's a lot of like, technically if I wanted to really become a better player, I'd work on macroing behind this, but I just don't guys, you know, I just don't. This deep into my my, my StarCraft career, I, I want to play a bit of low effort Terran. Like there, there'll, be a, there'll be a time where I'm really motivated again and I'll hop on and I'll be like, I want to learn how to macro like Maru, you know, and I'll, I'll copy his builds for like a few months and grind it, but sometimes you just want to hop on and play some play some fun strats. And and even though this involves a lot of macro and like old mechanics that I've got, and this is the hardest of the builds I'm doing, it's fun. It's just fun. Oh, TBZ. All right, tough matchup, TBZ. Let's do it. Let's channel that Oliveira 8 racks. Except when I say Oliveira 8 racks, think of it as like 
when your three-year-old says they're gonna paint a Picasso painting, and then they just basically like throw a bucket of paint on the ground. Um, that's that's the, the you know what I am to Olivera with eight racks execution is much like that. That really is the the best analogy one can think of. Now we're playing on the Australian server, so I can actually micro quite well. Watch me over micro, get a bit like panicky, and just screw everything up. All right. So the great thing is, guys, this is like the laziest version of an 8 racks ever. Um, in that I, I haven't written the build down, I haven't like studied a standard 3cc in the tiny details of the opening in a long time. But I'm just basically using my general game knowledge, and I'm like layering on top of that this whole like idea of if you feel like you're getting a bit too frantic, just stop harassing and just focus on your macro, basically. Until, until the big push happens. Once the big push happens, I basically never want to look at my base. I just want to occasionally look at home to like build some depots or start an upgrade and otherwise just rally units, go, 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 go. If they go ultras, I will like build some tech labs and uh, start going like Lib Marauder a bit more, but eh, it's a big if. What are the chances of that happening, right? So notice we're rallying this SCV down to build the command center. We've got an orbital on the way, as well as a Reaper starting. That guy's going to go scout, and after scouting, checking the hatchery timing, he goes home to build our base. Uh, what's this guy going to do? Command center. Yeah. All right, so we get a command center there, bring another SCV over to get that depot started. You can absolutely build SCV and mule before depot, but I think I'll have enough money for both. Yeah, you can see I've just got enough money for the SCV there. And I think this is faster if I hop down the ledge. I think that's a slightly more direct route across the map. I could be wrong. Hold on a second. Is that finished? Yeah, yeah, that's finished. That's fine. Just wanted to check that the base was actually finished, guys. Uh, and then we'll go for a factory here. I like that Oliver is such a big fan of the uh, Cloakless Banshee, by the way. Because I, I did always feel like that extra 100 gas on the Cloak. Well, I always felt like Banshees in general were expensive. And, and the extra 100 gas that he cuts away from it while still getting all of the defensive advantage... Uh, I just think it's very elegant. Good micro, dude. Really good micro by him. I did not think he'd do that well. Very well played. It's Queen guarding. And the Queen's guarding the creep tumor as well. Come on, man. This is some proper tryhard I'm playing against right now. Not letting me get any freebies. Alright, that's fine. As long as the build's good, remember, guys, that's all that matters. If the Zerg's focusing really hard on blocking all of your annoying Terran moves, chances are you don't need to do damage. You just need to not mess up your macro. <laughs> Builds like this really are about macro. They are about how tight you execute. Really good defense, man. This guy's all over it. That's fine. You get some good creep spread. You get rewarded for doing that part of your build really well. I think about 330 is perfectly fine for link speed, by the way. And, oh, I forgot to build my uh, my tech lab on the barracks. So that's fine. Be a little bit late. Try and get some active creep tumors. Make the orbital using our control group there. Add on complete. T not got ling speed. I'm in a heap of trouble. Okay. He seems to just be very defensive right now. That's fine. Start building your depots. I feel like normally my instincts are to just freak out if they're defending well and be like, why are you defending so well? This is not what not what Zergs are meant to do, man. You're meant to be greedy. Add on complete. All right. It's a name. I think I'll scan. This is a bit too frantic. Just chill. Let's just chill for a little bit. Okay. 
add-on complete. Check this out. Now I'm just see. I'm not just taking. I'm just taking a minute to macro. Back and go there. Just make sure we get all of this sorted. Before we freak out over like doing more Hellion run buys or anything like that. Get some more depots. This is super chill now. That's more than enough SCVs I need for like literally the rest of this game. And then all we need to do guys is go bam, bam, bam. Last three barracks. Build two reactors. Get combat shields. We kill some Zerglings here. I mean, this is like we're distracting him without really committing anything. Alright, we lose a Hellbat, it's fine. Notice I'm already thinking about those as Hellbats, because, like, that's when I really care about them, right? Alright, these guys are going to go forward for that push. We've got the Banshee out there. Put the Depot out here. Oh, I forgot to make the Armory. Oh, and I forgot to start 1-1. This is why my build was so chill, guys. Oh, okay. 1-1's just starting. So this is going to be basically a 1-1 all-in. Oh, he's not taking this base. Okay, that's probably a good choice by him. Pull back. No, no, re no reason for that. Alright, where do we want to push? I still think we want to push this left side and try to just get tanks like here. All right, we're going to fight, start setting up now for the push, even though it's obviously minutes before 1-1's uh, even finished, which is sloppy, but whatevs. So we're going to start pushing forward. Alright, that'll do. Where's the Medivax? Oh, dum dums. All right, leave that tank there. Upgrade complete. Upgrade. Mineral field depleted. Let's go. This better be good. Life flights here. 
We got him. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> I do this so poorly. I love it. Dude, if you can you can win games without practicing at all as well. You just need to pick a very basic strategy and float two and a half thousand minerals while failing to queue up marines. Like how hard is Starcraft anyway? How hard is it? I, I don't know how I'm winning these games. I'm getting very lucky. What is the units lost on these fights, by the way? Yeah, it's a pretty big advantage. Holy crap. You had two two? Yeah, he had two two. All right, all right, all right, we got ourselves. Oh, it's a TVZ against the uh, the same Zerg we played before. Let's try and have a game with upgrades this time, shall we? This player's defense was really tight though, so hats off to them for doing so well with that. I think I'm gonna send the Banshee across the map because they were so defensive. I think if I can distract them with the Banshee, that'll be really nice. And uh, I mean, it's gonna be the same build. They'll expect it. And I think they'll probably beat me because my execution isn't that tight. You know what? What is this second guessing myself? Let's just believe in the power of the push. None of this like, you oh, know, it, it probably won't work. Let's prepare. Like, get it. It's 100% gonna work. There is actually no chance that this doesn't work. You guys, we're on the Australian server. It's so rare that I get to play with no lag. This is exciting. That literally says zero MS in that tiny, tiny font in the top left, which I'm almost sure you can't read. Uh, I can barely read it. I can squint at it is all. All right, so check it out. We've got three more SCVs building. That's going to take us up to 19. Put the three on gas, uh, and we should be good. This SCV is going to scout the expansion, make sure we're not getting uh, rushed. Uh, you could block the expansion on this map, and I might. Ooh, should I do that just to disrupt him? Oh, why not? That's, I mean, that's one of those things I think, I think Zergs hate that. I think a lot of Zergs kind of just panic and screw things up. And this player looked so good on their basics last game. Probably a good idea to try and throw them off. Okay, let's quickly send another SCV to the natural to build the command center. A few seconds late on that. This guy can go do do do. And then you can go like that. Okay, cool. I think we're fine then. Uh, we've got the orbital on the way, or the natural, I should say, the command center on the way there. Command center upgrade complete. And this guy can go there. All right. Select the Reaper, put it on our control group. Looks like a standard hatchery timing. There we go, SCV is going to block. Very nice. Factory goes up. was a bit risky. Just gonna block for another second and then go home. All right. <laughs> I mean, I got I got a few lings. I delayed the base. I think it's okay. I think that's fine. Drop the mule on the high ground. I think we can still do that. I didn't kill the overlord, but it will be damaged, so it should go down relatively easy late, later. Uh, you guys go there, you go there. Aliens are building, we should be fine. Um, have this SCV mining from that side, so if things do come in, we want to be ready for it. It's really important that we just prioritize aliens, and then we get that Banshee out. And like I said, I want to harass with the Banshee, probably behind the natural... Actually, no, I think down there, into the main, is the better call, because it forces the queens further out of position. Uh, I'm going to send the Hellions down both sides, so notice they're scouring both lanes at the same time. Um, get this one. You go in cloak, you can't build the tech lab straight away, but because I'm... Actually, wait a second. That still delayed the Banshee by a few seconds, damn it! Never mind. Okay, my second gas is a little late, guys. I gotta be a bit careful on that. This creep spread is insane. I kinda wanna do a Ling run by this game. I, a Hellion run by? I think that's a good idea. I'll do, I'll do a Hellion run by just to mix things up. Uh, normally I'd take a Deeper right now, but I don't need to because we're about to sacrifice these Hellions. Try and just run the gauntlet. I'll build it anyway. 
No, that is a crazy amount of Zerglings to just have for safety. Wow, what? That I was not expecting. Beast, this, this player, man. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go. Man, they're all over there opening. Really well done. Okay, we're going to try and come with the Banshee. Just see if we can pick off a couple. Two more reactive barracks and then three more regulars. See if we can grab another drone or two. Like I said, I was making things just a bit too easy for them before by not attacking in multiple places. And now, because we got that air harass, it's just that little bit of extra, hey, you need to respond to this, actually forces a big amount of extra actions out of the opponent. Um, I think we just want to look for creep over here. Yeah, we're just going to send the Banshee home. I always feel like the Banshee is such a useful unit to just keep alive. So rather than just throwing it away like a lot of us tend to do when the game gets a bit intense, try to stay chill on it. Try to just like keep just send it home repair it you know just keep it alive and let it find damage because I, I i guarantee you if you just keep it alive it will annoy your opponent even without you thinking about it okay all right that's a lot of marines right now guys Okay, you guys are going to go here. We're also going to put a depot down here. Oh, nah, bro. Put that armory up. Oh, no, fourth base. Okay, let's let's go. Good ambush, uh, well done by him. I think that's probably game in his favor, but we'll, we'll, we'll give it another go. He's playing like full ambush style, and I think against these guys who play full ambush style, you really need to just not, like just be a bit more conservative with your unit placement, and you'd be surprised how well you can do. I think he's got us. Research complete. Ready for dust off. Been waiting. Armed and ready. Who was? You gonna keep this better be been waiting. Where's the... 
Mineral field. Base is under attack. Research complete. By the numbers, boy. Big job. Double one, so MTV ready. I'm on it. Mineral field depleted. Upgrade complete. Do we ever put guys on gas? We did. Run! Okay, this ain't working. What's going on? Waiting on you. Our SCVs are under attack. Command center upgrade complete. We hear you. Reporting This better be good. SCV ready. Hey, it off me. You ready to pick up? Been waiting for what, so. Mineral field depleted. Been waiting on you. Mineral field. Talk to me. Got life upgrade. Mineral field depleted. Exhausted. In the rear with the gear. Oh 
Mineral field depleted. Base is under attack. Did I never get plus three attack? Oh, I did. Mineral field depleted. Now what? Just say what. Who wants some? Huh? Moving for action. Mineral field depleted. ETA, one minute. Here. Been waiting. Talk to me. Ten four. Wait. Life flight's here. SCPs are under attack. How is this game still going? This is crazy. Okay, I see. Think more tanks could be good. Can you try and build some ghosts? Yes, sir. Initiating. Who wants some? What's going on? You gonna give me orders? Who wants some? Attention. This better be good. Mineral field depleted. Go, go, go. 
We have you on screen. Of course. Upgrade complete. Come again, out with it. Are you sure about that? Got freedom? I'm in deep. We'll do. Perfect. Upgrade. Yes! What is this game? Damn, this was crazy, man. I mean, I, I kept setting up good positions, but I just, I have no macro. It's actually insane. Kind of creates fun games when you when you have a really tilted skill set like this, where I'm like, I know how to take a good engagement. I just don't always do it. <laughs> and I have really bad macro behind it. These games are actually really fun, though. I like that the A-Rex... Even though it's not really working for me to kill them, it's setting it up to make the game very, like, close, I guess, kind of competitive. Let's, like, benchmark really quickly. So my first kind of move out that got me absolutely wrecked this game, I think I was just, like, a bit late on my barracks and really slow on my marines. And my opponent was just massing units off 67 workers, so they were staying, like, pretty low economy. So I actually didn't need to push. So what I should have done here is I could have just scanned the fourth, and seeing there's no drones there, I actually should just like chill and wait and potentially even add tech labs or even like one reactor to tech labs to just get more production. Because then you do that and you're like, okay, and then you wait for the critical mass. But instead I was like, yeah, the creep spread's really good. I gotta, I gotta get in there. Let's, let's stop the greedy creep spread. But this was lots of creep spread combined with a massive army. And we just went way too deep here right before one one and combat shields was done. And you can see that's just a massive anti-timing. Really should not have been fighting just yet. Ow, 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 ow. And I, I really should have one one and combat shields finished by now. It's it's past eight minutes. It's way too late to not have those. But hey, after that happened, I thought I was pretty dead. Turns out, if you just keep setting up tanks in good positions, you get a little lucky, you can do it. <laughs>